Hi friends, how are you all? Hope you all are fine. So today, let's continue with our previous chapter. What was the chapter? Yes, adaptation, how plants survive. So today, it's the last topic of terrestrial plants, which is plants on sea coasts. And if we finish it, we can go to aquatic plants. Hmm. Okay. So, shall we start our class? Alright. So first, it's warm-up time. Bindu, a little girl. Oh, we met her in the last episode, right? I mean, yeah, in the last episode we met her, right? So, she went to a beach or a sea and she saw some types of plants growing there. She's confused. She wants to know if these plants also have adaptation. Well, the answer is yes, these plants also have adaptations. Examples are palms like coconuts. Do you know what is palms? I will tell you. Palms are unbranched trees. Look at the picture of the coconut tree. There are no branches and the leaves are growing above the plant. Right? And the fruits are beneath the leaves. Isn't it? So palms are unbranched trees. So these plants can survive in salty water. Now they can survive in salty water unlike normal plants. They want salty water and also prefer areas with heavy rainfalls. Now the coconut plants need a lot of water to grow. Thus it want areas with heavy rainfall. Their seeds are taken away from the mother plant by water. This is a form of dispersal. We will learn about it in higher classes. One form of dispersal is by water. The seed of the coconut plant is able to float. It will fall into the sea or a beach or whatever it is and float, float with the sea and reach to a place. And if it have favorable conditions in which it can grow, it will grow to a coconut tree. Okay, so really that's all for today, but let's revise what we learned. These plants can survive in salty water and prefer areas with heavy rainfall. Their seeds are taken away from the mother plant by water. Now, it's amazing but true. Okay, this is a fact. The coconut tree is also a tree of thousand uses. No, 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 I am not meaning it has a thousand uses, but it's called so because every part of the tree or the plant is used in some form of the other or the other. Hmm. So, I will once again repeat, the coconut plant is also known as the tree of thousand uses. So, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe, like and share. Bye-bye.